it's called El Camino's in the West. Big set list here on my hand. <laughs> I don't get you. I don't get anyone. I've lost my way. I don't get any of this. My x ray's black. It seems nothing's won again. My way, my small love burnt in the sun. I don't get you, I don't get anyone. I've lost my way, my small love is burnt in the sun.
Thanks. I like drinking. <coughs> Not that I need a drink, I'm just kind of thirsty right now. So we have a new album, and this song's off the new album, although it's a lot different than this. A big problem with me doing this is I'm hearing all the music, all the parts. And I think I'm imagining band members on either side of me. So this is, uh, it's weird, but it's, but it's okay. It is what it is. This song is called Disconnecty. Dearest mom, your yearly son is sent a message through. He's disconnected, but he still loves you. Weather lies in motor wolves, color printer blues. On the engine air, his thoughts flow true. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Keeps getting better and better. So apparently this is a very limited situation, so I'll do another one and then It cries all night quietly It's tears all around me I'll sleep there so sad Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you very much. Thanks for the beer and the water. Gurney, yeah. please, if you would like to uh, to remain seated, because I have a few questions for you. Want jullie konden uh, vragen stellen. Dat was leuk. Dat uh, ik zat er hele bizarre tussen. Ik heb er een stuk of zes uitgehaald. Um, if you uh, will. Uh, Allow me, I would like to ask you some questions, but they're not my questions, they're their questions. Okay. Uh, the first one is uh, from Kees Peerdeman. Is Kees het toevallig? Hey, Kees. Ik ga hem wel voor je stellen. His question, Kees, his question was, what's the name of the plastic cat you always bring with you on tour? Um, when he's sober, his name is Vern, and when he's drunk, his name is Steve. <laughs> Just don't ask me why he got those two names. We tend to, I don't know, apparently he got in trouble um, when he was sober and drunk, so those are his, uh, yeah, at least he has a name. At least he, at least he can remember his two names. <laughs> so what's he going to do now? What's that? What's the cat going to do now? Um, right now he's sitting on somebody's uh, fireplace mantelpiece, just like staring at, staring at a painting that he really likes. Okay. He's just like staring at it. He'll probably do that for the next 20 years. The next question is by Mark de Jong. Mark de Jong, toevallig ook binnen. Misschien wel, maar steek je vinger niet in de lucht. Um, um, his question, the question by Mark de Jong is, why can you get sick in a Baja VW bug? I don't know, it's his question. <laughs> why can you get sick in a Baja VW bug? Well, we had a song called Seek in, yeah. a, in a Baja Volkswagen W bug or something like that. Um, but I, don't, I mean, I, I suppose it's really easy to get sick in a VW bug. <laughs> I think if I think really hard, I, can <laughs> I think I've actually done it myself. But uh, I don't know. Just it's easy. Go try it. Just drink like a bottle of Jägermeister and like three shots of Jack Daniels and and a glass of tequila and go hang out in a VW and for a enjoy. While. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens. Next question is by Casper van Rooyen. Casper, no, ook niet. Jongens, aanwezig. Granny, Granddaddy, who is your grandson? Um, uh, I don't. 
fun, you guys. You know how, <laughs> you know how stupid these questions are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I have no grandson. I have no, I have no son. <laughs> so no grandson then. No. Uh, no next question is by away. Patrick Herengraven. His question, what, what are you going to do on Sundays in the future? On Sundays? On Sundays, yeah. Um, geez, you know, just, uh, uh, I don't know. We'll probably move really, really slow and uh, work on my uh, my posture. <laughs> okay, last <laughs> question, then, really then, I'll question. then you'll, uh, you'll be rid of me. Uh, Job Ewijk, his question is, uh, you've been uh, on this point of breaking up earlier. What makes it that you're sure that you're really breaking up now? Um... You know, sometimes you just know. Um, I think the whole history of the band, we've, we've, uh, every next period has been, has been dictated by our feelings and our intuition. And I think it just got to a point where, where you just know. And, uh, and it's sad and it's, you know, you can get nostalgic about it, but it's just, it just has to be, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's like some people, some people uh, choose to cry and be miserable at a funeral, and some people choose to, you know, have fun and celebrate a person's life. So I think we're just trying to do it the best, most positive way as possible, and and we feel it. So it's just time to time to go away. Because of that, um, I would like to introduce Mr. Gerard J. Bolhoff. VPR1 granddaddy, we go a long way back, you know. Yeah. I think at least, at least we follow things from um, another Western Seaway. Um, and now that this fairy tale comes to an end, even granddaddies die too soon sometimes. Um, we, VPRO, 3 to 12, and all your Dutch fans would like to express our gratitude and say goodbye and give you. Um, well, sort of award, uh, let's say a, a, a lifetime achievement and say goodbye. I feel like I should thanks. stand up for this. Yes, Thank you, you have to. <laughs> oh, co coincidentally, there are some plastic bags at the record company rep on it. <laughs> right. The band is going to love this. Thank you very, very, very much.